Paradiso Climbing Co-op has something I've never seen before. Something so magical. Something so spectacular. Something, just that little something that lets you know that this gym isn't messing around. And that something... Well, stick around and I'll tell ya. If you're thinking that a brand new gym like Paradiso is snazzy as heck, with big modern volumes, colorful walls, and the latest and greatest in the gear shop, you couldn't be more wrong. Paradiso couldn't be further from most of the gyms I've been to. And before you're like, dang, Courtney said the Paradiso sucks, hold up, slow your roll, because that couldn't be further from the truth. Paradiso is a gym built out of an old warehouse and has a grungy, old-school feel to it. It feels comfortable, the type of place that you roll into after work looking forward to not only getting on problems and crushing, but also chilling on the couch with friends, just talking about life. The floors at Paradiso are made of playground mulch covered by a thick, heavy fabric sort of material. When you climb, there are big rectangle-like bean bags that you pull underneath you to cushion your fall. Tripping over these at least a minimum of three times per session is considered a scramble and as part of the approach for the problems. Paradiso is hot as hell, so find the routes that are by the fans and bask in all their glory as the heat preps you for your outdoor sun temps that might not be the most ideal. And speaking of outdoors, that's the vibe I get, right? That this gym is truly a gym to train in to prepare for climbing outdoors. The selection of weight training equipment is fairly impressive and unique compared to some other gyms, including not only the typical bench press and free weights, but also different hanging grips and an inversion table that I'm pretty sure was a spiritual experience for Jed. The whole place is lit up using strings of white Christmas lights and a strip of neon purple rope lighting along the bottom of one of the bouldering walls. One of the most important aspects of a good gym is setting, and Paradiso has some of the most balanced setting I've yet to climb on in a bouldering gym. When I say balanced, I mean that the setting at Paradiso is fun, yet challenging both mentally and physically. Jed's climbing style is more dynamic and strength-based than mine, which is much more static and balance-focused. And yet we both really enjoyed the setting at Paradiso. The grading system was designed to mimic outdoor grading around the area, and I think that the setters have done a really great job. I also really appreciated how there was an area on either side of the grade that climbers could mark if they felt the problem was graded too soft or too hard. Grades aren't everything, but it is helpful to see what the community thinks of a certain problem. Paradiso also has a whiteboard that lists all of the new problems, what's about to be taken down, and a community poll that allows members to vote on things to help the setters decide what they should do. So what's so great about Paradiso? Is it this super cool sneak peek of a view probably many people don't get, which is the inside of the walls that contain all of the extra holds that are used by the gym? Well, yeah, that's kind of cool, but not quite. Okay, so is it the fact that when you become a member, you'll have 24 seven access to the gym? Because that's a thing that's super freaking cool. It is really nice to be able to climb on whatever schedule you have. I am definitely planning on trying to get over here for a late night session during the winter when it's cold and we can't climb outside. And I want there to be pancakes. So what's the one thing that Paradiso has that your gym definitely doesn't? Are you ready for it? What? There's a disco sink. What? That's the coolest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> And if a disco sink isn't enough reason to come check out Paradiso, I don't know what is. A big thanks to Scott and Raul for inviting me over to the gym. Thanks so much for watching everyone, and until next time, stay hyped. Did you just rip up in your pants? Show YouTube. I don't know, is it ripped? Show you, you. Yeah, I think I just ripped like right here. Uh, it looks okay. Yeah. Bit, I, think I think you're okay. <laughs> okay. Oh. I'm trying hard. Oh, you're trying hard.